Hi everybody, welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to change your seat belt in a C7 Corvette. So guys, today we are going to be showing you how to change the seat belts in my friend Tommy's C7 Corvette. Now he currently has red seat belts in his car, which I happen to really like. And if I didn't have Kalahari interior, I would already be saying, hey, I need to have those seat belts. But today, um, he's decided that uh, his car is white and he has gone with a, uh, like a black and white theme throughout the car. And so he's changing the, the red seat belts out to white ones. And he had these custom done. And um, I'll get that information from him and I'll put that on the screen on where they came from. So if you guys are interested in them, uh, you'll know exactly where to go. But what we're going to do um, is that we're going to go ahead and we're going to show you how to take this whole assembly apart. Um, you're going to have to take the, the top halo, the inner, inner halo off. We've got to take a bunch of these different pieces off to get to, uh, to get to the assembly. It's not really hard to do. It's just time consuming. And you just have to be careful that you use the right pry tools and things like that that you don't end up scraping it. Uh, you don't want to scratch your plastic and that type of stuff. So uh, we're just going to take our time and we're going to go through this step by step. And uh, so we're just going to go ahead and we're going to jump in the video now. Okay guys, so the first thing that we're going to need to do is that we need to be able to pull this center halo off. Now because we're taking both sides loose, because we have to, we're going to change both sides, we might as well go ahead and just take the, the inside halo off so we're not trying to fight it. That'll also make it much easier so when we go to put these panels back in place that the, they'll go right in place, we won't have to fight this and then we'll just be able to put it right back up. So um, with that being said, you can just reach right up underneath the rubber here and you can grab this edge. Okay, and you're just gonna pull it down, just like so. And there's just a bunch of little clips in there that's holding this in place. So. You might have to go to the other side to be able to pull it down. We've got this side pretty much loose all the way, see all the way across there. So we just need to get, come back over to the inside edge. Okay. All right. Now, guys, if you can see this, hopefully you can see this down in there. There's a little clip, and they, your your nylon pry tools are just not strong enough to be able to do this. So if you get in there with your screwdriver, you'll be able to just get it to wedge just ever so slightly, you'll be able to pull this plug out of the top. Okay, because you don't want to snap these off. See, that gets it, gets it free. We've already done it on this side. So this is very tight. And then we've got, I think, one more over on this side over here. There we go. So we got that. And what else are we hiding? We got another got another clip over here. Right there. And we should probably have another one back in here somewhere too. We might have to get on the opposite side over here. It feels like it's like right here in the center. <laughs> go. <laughs> okay, so while we're at it here, um, you can take a look at these two clips here. They popped out really easy just by pulling these down and these same thing, right? But this one here is actually going into the plastic that's holding this other piece that we're going to be taking out. And so it's not, that piece isn't secured up to the halo, so it just pulls down. So there's no way that this is gonna come out of there on its own. So what we did is we just used a screwdriver here and we wedged it out, okay? Same thing on both sides right there. Now these three clips, they are little monsters and you can see that they're, they're designed to hold a lot of weight there. They've been, they're a lot stronger of a clip than the other ones. And so with that being said, these guys did not wanna come loose. 
So I'm going to venture to say those are probably going to be the ones that fight us when we go to put it back. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to take this out now and then we'll start pulling this other stuff apart. Now, as far as taking this little, little stuff apart, we shouldn't have any major problems with that. We're just going to start here on this edge so we can get down in there. Just going to move it up to this edge, just like so. And we're going to pop it loose. Again, just take your time. It doesn't take a lot of st stress to pull these things loose. It's just getting it, figuring out exactly where you got to apply the pressure at. It's just a clip, but it's an honoring. There we go. Okay, so now the next thing that we've got to do is we've got to get this cover off right here, which will have a T50 Torx behind it. You should just be able to pry that little cover off. And then you get your, your Torx in there. We're just going to take this little guy loose. And we're just going to pull that out of the way. Okay. And I've got my, I've got a little blanket here, a little, a little uh, towel, just to be able to protect the, the paint. I'm wearing, as you can see, I'm wearing everything that's totally covered. I don't have any belt exposed or anything like that. So this is double protection, but you just want to point that out that you don't want to be leaning over this, you know, with anything that's going to scratch your car. Uh, I don't think, I don't think Tommy would like that if I scratched the crap out of his pretty car. So, um, so now at this point, we should be able to start to pry this little guy, pry this guy loose. Just like so. out of the way and this little guy has to come out also these have these really hard clips in here so you might want to not you want to make sure that you pry those out correctly or you don't don't break those and then, let's see here we've got to get this little guy loose also. And this little bit of jerking that I'm doing, that's usually what will make these things pop. If you, if you try to he-man them out, it's just they're going to break. Okay, so so if you get something that's just fighting you the whole way, then you're going to want to try to so try to jerk it loose, just like so, and then the clips will come loose, okay? So what we want to do here is we want to be able to pull this little guy loose. And there's a little clip here. You're just going to get underneath here. And you want to be careful that you don't break this. because there's some little clips in here. Again, you don't, you know, finesse is your friend here, not brute force. Okay, and then we're gonna take this bolt loose, which will then allow this to come through so we can take it completely out of here. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna take this bolt loose. Hopefully, there we go. And we're gonna set the little guy off to the side here. 
and then we'll be able to take the seat belt loose just like that okay and then this is going to stay right there and we're going to move the seat up and out of the way again just so it gives me a little more room to get back inside here okay then at that point I'm going to pop this little guy loose like that. Now, if your seatbelt kit didn't come with this trim, then you'd have to feed this all through it so you could save it. Um, but uh, the kit that we got here actually comes with this new piece, so we don't have to do that. So we're just going to just going to feed it all the way through here just like that. But if you didn't get that, it's really not a big deal. It's pretty easy to feed, feed it right through. So now we're going to go ahead and we'll get this little guy out of the way. Now, once we've got this piece removed from the upper part here, we still have to get this little guy, this piece of plastic right here, completely removed so we can get to all the screws because we've got a carrier that's right up here. We've got to take the bolt out. So what we're going to do here is we're going to, we've already, we already had one of these pop loose, but if there's, a, there's another one right up here. Now again, this is one of those real heavy duty uh, clips here. So I'm gonna use this little guy to pop it free. It's like that, okay? And at that point, this little guy should allow us to pop it free, okay? Now, you can do two things at this point. One, you can go ahead and you can fish this right on through, okay? fish it right on in there like that and get this out of the way and you could just pull this or hold it and Tommy's just gonna hold this like that and see right there you could take this out it's not it's only a couple more clips you could just pop it loose but we don't really need to so um, because I've got a little bit of help but if you didn't you could just pop this free now all we have to do now is we're gonna take this bolt here loose and there's a bolt right down right underneath here. And we'll take those out and the assembly will come right out. Okay. There is a connector that we'll have to take loose, but you can't get to it until after we get all this stuff free. So, um, and if I remember correctly, on this side, there is only one single connector. On the passenger side, there's two connectors. There's that one. Now you can see that reveals the connector right here, but we don't have to pull that loose until we get the, the unit completely free. So what we've got here is right down here at the very bottom of the, the seat belt assembly, we've got a 19 millimeter socket down here. So those are your two mounting points for your seat belt system. And then we can pull this loose, just like so. Okay, so we've got our little clip here. We're gonna take that, we're gonna lift the little red tabs upward, and that'll allow it to come off. So you can see right there, just explain that without the clip on it. You see I'm taking my fingernail like that, I'm pulling this down. You're gonna do that on basically on, see if I can get a little bit better picture. We're gonna grab those two little lips and we'll pull them upward. That will release the locks so you can pull it up. Okay, so now at this point, this is out, this is done, so now all we have to do is reverse order by putting the new one back in place. Okay guys, so we've got our new fancy white seat belts. I made darn sure my hands were nice and clean because I don't want to be the first one to put any, any uh, marks on these little guys, I'll tell you that right now. So anyway, what we're going to do here is the very first thing we need to do is we need to plug our plug in so we don't forget that part of it. So we're just gonna side, get that lined up. Just gonna plug it in, it snaps in place. Okay. And then at that point, we're just gonna put it over the bolt. Just like so. Oh, and they even, on this version, they even gave us a new clip. So we don't need this clip in here.
that's kind of cool. They gave us a new one. That goes right there like so. And then this little guy goes right up inside. Okay. So let me get that started. So I get that started so it's not in the way. I'm going to go right back underneath here and I'm going to put my my 19 19 millimeter bolt back on or nut back on. So hopefully the the main camera is catching this right here. So you guys can see that. And you want to snug it down really good. Okay. And then take our 50 torques up here. Okay, and this little guy down. Now this seat belt kit also came with new fresh thread lock on the new bolt. If the kit you guys get, it doesn't have any thread lock, be sure and put some on there. You don't have to put the heavy duty red thread lock, they're using blue on this. It's just you just don't want this part to come loose on you later on down the road, okay? Okay, and we are good there, okay. So now we can just, again, we're just gonna do reverse order here. We're gonna be able to put this right back through the hole. So the guy goes right on through here like so. Just like that. And then you're gonna put this right back in place. Just like so. That snaps in place there. That snaps in place there. You can see right there, that looks pretty darn good. Went right back together. Okay, so now we'll grab the, the, other, the other part here and uh, we'll get this assembly all put back together. So now that we have our windowsill part ready to go back in place, we've still got our thread, our, our uh, seat belt down through it, as well as the trim plate. Now again, like I said, this came with a brand new trim plate, but um, if your, your seatbelt kit didn't, you're just going to be reusing your old one. But I'm just bringing that through there just like that. You can see right there. Okay. Now, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put this trim in first, just to make sure that it's all going to fit fine, where I'm not trying to fight this before I go and I put it back in so I don't have to take it back out again for whatever reason. So I'm just going to make sure that this all fits. It's just got a bunch of little tabs here, so you're just making sure that you get all the tabs in the right spot. You can see right there that goes went right in together, no problem. You can see right there all the way. So then at that point, I'm just gonna bring this little guy right up to here. Now I'm gonna attempt to do this without using any of the pry tools or any tools. I'm just gonna try to use my hands. If I if I scrape my hand up a little bit, I, I'll heal. <laughs> I don't want to scratch this fabric at all. So I'm being very, very careful with that to make sure that it just goes right back in place. Okay, so, and you shouldn't have, really shouldn't have any issues with that. But like I said, I'm just utilizing my thumb, my fingers here to be able to get, get the rubber out of the way all the way across here. that all right and she is in place look at that exactly where it belongs okay so the next step is to go ahead and put the the bottom the, the bottom trim plate back in so now that we've got the 
the upper assembly, the windowsill assembly in. We're going to put the bottom base piece back in. And again, there's just a bunch of clips here. You can see that. So it's just a matter of taking your time, making sure that you get these all lined up and that you get them snapped in place. Okay. So just like that. Like that. Move my light here a little bit so you guys can see this a little bit better. I'm going to move this rubber. Again, I'm doing this with my fingers because I don't want, really don't want to put any marks on the on the plastic. Okay, and then snap it in place. That guy's in there. Okay, then at that point, all we've got to do is put this little guy back in place. right in place like that and then we've just got this little guy here our little trim just back in here like so again just a bunch of snaps you're good to go so now all we have to do now is we just got to hook this hook back onto the front of the seat belt and close the snap part back up and this side is done so what we've done now is we've just moved our seat into the back position a little bit so we can bring our, our uh, new seat belt through our, our holder and then you can see that we're going to orientate the hook and our, our belt where it connects right in the same spot here so we can lock this in like it's latched so we know that it's going to come across there like it should okay then at that point we can now put this into the seat belt holder pull up and then we'll be able to put our bolt in like that okay just like that so you can see right there that looks great and then all we have to do is just put our, our little cover back on Just like that. And we are done. So guys, as you can see here, we've got the new white seat belt in and we've got the red one that came out. And I want to point something out to you guys. Um, again, this is all going to depend on the manufacturer. But um, as you can see here, the original factory one has this double stitch point here. What that's for is to be able to stop your seat belt cla uh, clasp from going all the way down here, right? Like that, right? In this company, they decided to use a, a little snap, basically, on both sides, okay? So that's why they look a little bit different and that there's a there's no tag on this one. There's a tag here. You cut that off. That's not a big deal. But that's why you're seeing a little bit of difference. When I got done with it, I went, wow, that looks a little bit different. So I just wanted to be able to point that out in the video so you guys aren't going, wait a minute, what the heck is wrong here? Okay, so we are on the opposite side here. We're just going to basically do the exact same thing we did on the other side. Just like that. That one pops right loose. We'll be able to get that one up out of the way. So guys, we're going to do this side just a little bit different. Um, now that we've got that back part removed, we're going to go ahead and we're going to take the seat belt free, uh, free from the seat itself this uh, ahead of time. So we don't have that sitting in our way um, this time around, okay? So we're just gonna take this cover off and you wanna take your time. There's a little, like four little clips in here that you have to get, you have to get to pop open and you just don't wanna break those clips. So just take your time and you'll be able to get them, get it to pop open. There we go, just like that. And then one more like that pops open out of the way. So that reveals the one screw that we've got to take loose. OK. 
Okay, we're going to take that little guy loose. And I found it's going to be easier this way than doing this near the end because I'm not going to, when I move the seat out of the way, it's going to leave more room for me with my my shoe to, my foot to get in there and I'm not going to be fighting over this, this uh, seat belt. So now we can just let this little guy hang back up in here. This little guy sits there just like that. And we're going to go ahead and move the seat forward. Get it out of the way. Okay, so now we've got our seat belt free here like this. Now we've got to be able to take our window sill part out. So we're just going to start popping the clips on this side. Like so. And again, don't he-man it. Just kind of like I do, I shake it. Kind of, kind of shaking it back and forth here just to break it free. Just like so. And then that will come free like so. And then at that point we can go ahead and we can take this little trim part, this little guy right here, and pop that out like so. And then we can feed this through the hole here. And then this little guy is out of the way. Okay, now we've just got this sitting there like that. Now, like I mentioned before, if your seats don't come with this trim piece, you're gonna have to just feed it back through here and this will stretch out of the way so you can open it up to get it through. But in, in the event that we're doing here, this set actually came with this new trim piece. Okay, so now at this, piece, at this part, we have another couple clips here. We have a clip here and we've got one right down here. Now, these are pretty tough little clips so I'm not going to try to force those. Um, I'm going to get it, get it in here where I'm get get there nice and nice and close to the plastic, and because my nylon pry tool is probably not going to want to pull those free very well. Just like so. There we go. And it came came loose. And then at this point, we'll be able to pull this out. So, and this will come right on out the hole. Okay, just like that. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to take our bolt, undo it here. And guys, it'll be a lot easier for you if you're doing this. I'm trying to stay out of the way of the camera, so you'll be able to get a little bit better grip on things, a little more leverage. Um, I'm trying, like I said, just trying to be able to give you guys the best view there is, but. So anyway, we've got that down. Now we have a 19 millimeter socket that is right here. Hopefully you can see that. So you guys can actually see this better than I can at this point. I know it's there, but I can't see it. And then at that point, this will come loose. Now the, you've got a little rubber clip there, a little snap. And then you've got, you've got two different plugs. You've got one right here and you've got a little one right up here. So now this little guy, those little clips, you can see this red clip right there. It's spring loaded. There's one on the opposite side of it. So you'll need to be able to grab both of them with your fingernails and lift it up and off, it's like so. Then the other the other one right here, this one is going to be a little, little pinch. Let's see if I can, if I can see it here. Let's see if I can, maybe can pop it off its holder. There we go. And that way we can see that you have to, let's see. Just pinches right here like so, and it comes off. See right there, and just pinch those, pinch that together right there like that, and that'll release it. Okay, at that point, we can get this up and out of the way. Now that we've got the red one out, we've got our white one here, and I went and washed my hands to make sure that I didn't get any mess all over them. Now you can see, like I was talking about, here's Here's the other plug we had to take loose, and then we also have the original plug that looks like the same size 
as the one that's on the opposite side of the car. There we go. There's that one. This is keyed to only go one way, so you can't screw that up. And then we're going to go ahead and we're going to put our little snap back in place so our wires are where it belongs. And we're going to feed that right over the bolt hole as well as the guide slot that locks it in place like so. And then I'll take my 19 millimeter bolt or nut I should say and get that started. Okay. Let's get that started and out of the way. And again, all we're doing is just reversing everything we just did. Okay. Like I was saying on the other side, guys, the this comes with the the blue uh, Loctite. Now, if you if you had to, if your set doesn't come with Loctite already on the threads. You want to make sure that you put some on there. You're not going to have to put the red lock tight. You know, it doesn't have to be super tight. You just want to make sure that it's just not going to come unscrewed on you. Okay, we're good. All right, so now at that point, all we've got to do is we're going to pull this little guy right through our our trim plate here, just like that. Okay, and then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put these little guys right back in place. That. So then the next piece we gotta do is we gotta put the windowsill back in. The guy we've got sitting right here we're going to go ahead and we're going to run the seat belt through it as well as the trim. Just like that. Let me turn this around so you guys can kind of see this a little bit better. We're going to go ahead and we're going to put the trim in. And there's just a little bunch of little clips in there that locks this in place. Hopefully you guys can see that okay. Again, you don't have to he-man this at all, just take your time. Again, like I was saying, a little finesse goes a long way. Okay, so there's that, so we're good. Okay, so now, we've gotta put this little guy back in place. Again, I don't use, I don't wanna use a tool or anything, I just wanna use my fingers to get this rubber out of the way, because I don't wanna scratch anything up. So that's good. Again, using my fingers to get this rubber out of the way. Just like that. And we are good. And we're just gonna put it in place. Then you've got a little bit of rubber right here that you'll want to just lift up a little bit. And that'll tuck right around. And we're good. At that point, we've got this little guy right here, this little trim piece. Put that on there like that. It's gonna snap in place. We're good right there. And we're gonna put this little guy right in here. for that. 
like that, we're good. The only thing we have left is just to do the seat belt. We are down to the last part of the seat belt process. We're just gonna we're gonna make sure that we've got our seat belt orientated the right way. So we're gonna put our seat belt up inside the hook here. You can see right there. Okay, looks like that. And then we're gonna take the seat belt itself. We're gonna pull it over and we're gonna snap it in place. Okay. And then at that point, we're gonna take our little hook and we're gonna bring it right over here like so and lift up. And then we'll be able to put our screw in place. Just like that. And we'll put our cap on. And we're done. Guys, that looks awesome. Now that we've got both seat belts in, we've got all of our trim in, everything's done except for the center halo, and we just need to snap that back in place. So you can see here, we've got two clips in the back, two clips over on the other side over here. You've got a total of five clips here in the front. So we're just gonna go ahead and we're gonna put it right up, up there where it belongs, okay? And you're just gonna pop it in place. Just like that, you're gonna make sure that your, your rubber is not getting pinched. And we're good. We're done. We're totally done now at this point. So guys, hopefully you found this video helpful and informative and when it comes time that you want to put new seat belts in your C7, you'll have no problems doing it. Guys, Thank you for watching. If you guys haven't subscribed already, please hit that subscribe button, hit that bell so you'll be notified of our next uploads. And again, you guys, thanks for watching and you have a great night. I'm Tommy. And I'm Kirsten. And next on the Corvette channel, watch Scott and I tackle the difficult job of installing a custom steering wheel on our 2019 Corvette Stingray. Thanks for watching, guys.